So I sat down and I watched the second episode of Uzumaki, and I am glad to see I'm not alone in my opinion that it was a, quite a step down in quality in terms of the first episode. And it's pretty sad because the first episode started off super strong, was incredibly well animated, and it perfectly like brought a manga to life. And it was just a very unique direction for a manga to anime adaptation. And we fast forward to episode two that aired, and it is basically a downgrade in almost every single way. Come to find out, apparently the reason for that is because uh, episode 2 of Uzumaki was made entirely by a different animation studio and a different director on the episode. And I don't necessarily know if uh, this is going to be a reoccurring thing, like for instance, if this studio that made episode 2 is going to continue on for episode 3 and 4, but at the very least, it's very clear that the quality that the first episode gave us is definitely not going to be probably replicated going forward. And it's pretty sad because I do want to point something out that Uzumaki only is listed for four episodes. So like, we're already pretty much halfway through the series now. Two more episodes are left and we already have the second episode being ba basically a stinker. You know, a complete downgrade in almost every single way in comparison to its first episode. So I'm going to show some comparisons here of like these scenes from episode one and episode two and we can kind of discuss them and just really talk about just the fundamental difference between both episodes. So this right here is literally a scene from episode two and like make any sense. look at this real quick. Okay, this is a legitimate scene unedited. Okay, this looks like the character is lagging walking up these stairs. Like, look, this doesn't make any sense at all. I keep climbing but never reach the top. So, I think I am not alone in seeing that. Like, this literally looks like she is lagging in a video game. It's like it's very clear what the animators were trying to do for this scene. They were trying to, uh, like, imitate movement of walking up the stairs, characters going up the stairs at flight and getting higher and higher. But the way the movement looks here is just so jarring. It doesn't... It looks really bad. It just looks like a character's sporadically moving left and right. It just... It's like, dude, I don't know what they were thinking, but this clearly was not it. And according to what, um... I found out, apparently Uzumaki's kind of been in the works for like four years now, maybe less than that, but it's been like in production hell or something for a while. You you can citation me if you want, like, you know, like, you know, cite my sources and stuff. I, I, I'm not fully confident in that, what I just said there, but uh, all I'm saying is, is, um, this is a scene from episode two. Now, I want to show a brief scene from episode one. This is a scene from episode one. And visually speaking, colors are the same, but the, the movement is definitely a lot the better. Like, look events. at the character movement, like, the actual movement of, the, like, the way her actual outfit looks. Like, see, you can literally see the physics of the movement of her outfit while she is walking with her hair swaying in the wind. And you have the background art is really beautiful on top of that. And as, you know, she's walking, you get this beautiful landscape in the background, but there's still individual movements of her walking. A completely different view than what we just saw from that other clip I just, you know, showed. It looked like the character was legitimately lagging, while this character looks like she's doing a proper walk walking animation and so you can see the clear difference in just the terms of quality with the walking alone between those two individual scenes now i do once again want to reference that um two different animation studios were working on these episodes like for instance the first episode was you know the great episode and it had the studio Fuga fugaku that was who was working on it and then the second episode that took a nosedive it was done by akatsuki ironic but um anyways with that being said though uh, you know uzumaki is clearly not doing so hot right now people are obviously labeling you know episode two as um playstation 3 or playstation 2 graphics and so let's uh let's show a clip of that for a second so this is a scene from episode two as well and just i don't think i really need to explain why this looks bad but I'm going to anyways. But like once again, this completely outlines like the uh the difference in um the quality of the episode just with this movement. Like look at how they like are sliding across the like the ground and all that. It looks so unnatural in comparison to the other episode I showed. And it's like this is a constant thing that happens throughout episode two. Now to be fair, the artwork on display throughout episode two isn't necessarily bad. There is some good art. 
But in terms of animation, it is just jaw-droppingly different. It is just crazy. It's like, you can definitely see just how much um, a difference there is when there's two different animation studios and two different directors working on the project. Because they really are what really governs, like, how an episode potentially is going to turn out. And it's very clear this episode did not turn out that well. But I think I've shown enough examples of why people are complaining about Uzumaki. But let's get into the main point. Can it recover? Well... The big indicator here is that um, Uzumaki, like I said, has only four episodes that's going to come out. That means that there's two more episodes remaining. That means two more weeks as well, I believe. And that means that uh, either they improve their quality with episode three that goes way above and beyond episode one's, or they flounder and it gets even worse than episode two was, or it remains consistent with episode two. But if there is one thing that definitely has remained very consistent, it is that when it comes to... Junji Ito manga series being adapted into anime format or when it comes to just like very iconic seinen manga or dark series getting adapted usually there is just they don't get the animation they deserve like one series in particular that is always very relevant to this conversation is um Berserk. Berserk is a very very integral part of like just what people crave and desire for decades at this point and we've never gotten but Berserk has never gotten a really good anime. And it's like, Junji Ito seems to be kind of experiencing that exact same cur like curse when it comes to like his stories he writes. Because uh, anytime you see one of his series potentially getting a, a good anime, it turns out to have some issues that just don't feel that good as it could have been. So yeah, um, I briefly wanted to outline this and talk about this. Because like, I sat down and I was watching Uzumaki and I was just like, bro, what happened? And obviously I found out. And it's just... um. Tell me your thoughts. How, how do you feel about Uzumaki? Do you think that uh, you're going to continue watching it? Are you going to drop it? Are you going to hope that episode 3 is better? Uh, I do want to clarify. I don't know if, uh, like, the studio shift that's working on this. I don't know if it's going to go back to the studio that worked on the first episode for episode 3. I have no idea. But if for some reason they're flip-flopping, for instance, like, the, uh, the studio that worked on the first episode is going to work on episode 3. And when the studio that worked on episode 2 is going to work on episode 4. That means that episode 2 and 4 is potentially going to be absolutely dog crap in comparison to maybe episode 1 and 3. So that is food for thought. But um, I'll leave it at that. I don't know necessarily the full behind the scenes reasons of what happened. Maybe there's more details I'm unaware of. But that at the very least is what I currently know. But I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching. I greatly appreciate it. And tomorrow is ReZero Day. So look forward to that. I plan to make a very, very long video discussing ReZero. Diving into uh, the content of ReZero. And yeah, it, it's going to be fun. It's going to be a good episode. If it is exactly what I imagined like you know when I was reading it it's it's gonna be above and beyond but they always do the studio white fox that he never disappoint when it comes to re-zero so it's probably going to be a fantastic episode I saw the pv trailer that came out and looks really good okay be safe love you guys see you tomorrow chibi out